Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. Today we're going to have a go at these sunflowers um, that were growing in the garden. <laughs> I took a picture and I was like, I'm going to paint these. These will be uh, a good one to do. And uh, I never actually got around to it. <laughs> so now I'm going to do it. Even though the plants have long gone, went to seed, and uh, but now... I'm thinking, hmm, be good to use this as reference to do some sunflowers. And I quite like, I mean, I took the photo late on, so it's sort of a, uh, it's got a bit of a um, golden hour glow to it. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, do something with this. I'm not sure about this wall background, though. If that was just black. <laughs> I'm thinking about now. If that was just black, can you imagine how much this is going to pop out more? So I might put some ivory black on my palette and we'll see. I'm not necessarily going to do it, I just want to... Uh, got to consider it because I don't want... I want it to really pop out and it doesn't pop out as much as it is. But anyway... So I've got the uh, the grey canvas that I've just used some grey gesso on, and we'll uh, we'll get going on this one. See if we can get something looking good. So hopefully I don't block the cameras with my shoulders. <laughs> I found uh, the last video I did. It was really hard to edit because my shoulders were in the way all the time. <laughs> so I have to start doing a shoulder check. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if we can get this flower. So what I do, I tend to do this where I'll do a circle. So where do we want the sunflower in our on our canvas? Getting about the photo for now. I, I want one about there, the big one. Something like there. And then uh, the small one there. And then there's one behind, which I quite like, but I might instead have the third one here. Just so I can see it. <laughs> Get a bit of cleanliness in the picture. Just so I can see everything. And uh, and then we can uh, put, I mean, there's all kinds of leaves. Get the general shape of them. Of course, you get leaves going in all directions, so um, when I first started painting, <laughs> all my leaves were like that. <laughs> they all faced the camera, and uh, that isn't, isn't right, is it? But, you know, we all learn. I'm always learning anyway. I've, I've never stopped. I'm, all, I'm still still trying my best to get good at this uh, painting. I like to share the processes because uh, it might help somebody out and, uh, and that's a good thing isn't it? I can help somebody because people have helped me get better at painting and uh, it's good to share. I'm just making leaves up now. <laughs> do you think that'll do? I think that's quite good isn't it? There is one that goes right, there, right behind that. I think that's alright. So I might start blocking in the background first. I don't want this to be too uh, black here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the black idea. I just think it's going to make it better. I'm all for making things better. If I can paint it better than the picture. <laughs> I just had a delivery. My uh, computer needs a cable. 
So I've not been able to do any computer art because uh, <laughs> my computer broke. There was um, issues with a graphics card, it turned out. So I'm just putting some ivory black brush. Ivory black, titanium white, burnt sienna, burnt umber, sap green, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and chrome yellow. That's my palette of colours. I'm really fancying doing more than one painting today. <laughs> That's what I may do. I might do a few. I'm really, I'm really up for it today. I'm having one of those days where I'm really up for it. <laughs> yeah, my computer broke. Turned out to be the graphics card. I couldn't, it was crashing when I was editing videos. It was crashing and it was a nightmare. It really was. And uh, eventually I thought I was testing things and I removed the graphics card and put in this other one that I bought ages ago because I wanted to uh, it's, a, it's a home build video. and the, the graphics card was a, um, a used one but it was reconditioned and it, it worked really well and it was a good one so I didn't want to take it out. <laughs> so I ended up putting in this cheap um, graphics card in. I mean, it's probably do what I need to do. I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm doing anything special. <laughs> and, uh, It is running really well now. I put some more RAM in, which I got for 20 quid. I put the uh, the cheap graphics card in. And now I've got cable for my screen. So I've got a wide screen for so you can spread things out on a screen. So hopefully yeah, my setup's going to be a bit better. <laughs> and I can carry on with... Uh, doing children's books. So I did one. And, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. It's, a, uh, it's about a snowman that lost its nose. <laughs> it's based on, a, uh, based on a true story really. And, uh, I'm going to be doing another one. I've got one idea about a pirate that I really like. So I might start that as soon as my cable arrives, which I think it did. I think that's what dropped in the letterbox. I'm going to start that. I might do some videos on digital art as well. Because I like doing both. I used to be uh, kind of against it for some reason. If now I started digitally. <laughs> I went through a stage... I think it might have been because my previous computer broke and I was a bit frustrated and I was like against it. I was like, no, I want to paint paint. I don't want to do digital painting. But it's a lot more difficult to do a kid's book if you're doing it all by hand, I would say. <laughs> anyway, let's focus on this for now. And then after I've done this, I can have a look. See if that's what arrives. Yeah, so we're just blocking in. I've got my microphone in a different place now as well. So hopefully it's a bit better quality. So I think the trick with doing this, what I'm doing now, is to keep it quite thin. It's funny, you know, um, whenever I use ivory black, I always laugh to myself because uh, there's so many painters that are almost uh, going to meltdown when you're using black. Like, no! <laughs> 
I don't have black on my palette. What are you doing? <laughs> it doesn't mean me. It really does. You get a lot of videos where they painters talk about the palette that they use. I don't have black on my palette. <laughs> I think uh, over over time it doesn't really matter. I don't I don't think it matters. I uh, personally I've done hundreds of paintings now. And uh, I don't think it matters what palette of paints you've got. <laughs> you can if you can paint a painting oh, what we going what's going on here? We've got no leaves there. Oh, well, we have now. We might put a dark one in. I think when you get used to painting and you get used to colour, you get to realise what paints work for you and what paints don't, what colours you like. And uh, that actually um, creates a bit of a style as well. Because if you like using certain colours, it will create a styling overall on your paintings. and. People will look at your paintings and recognise that they're done by you because of the colours that you use and like that. Style's a weird thing. I used to be chasing style, but you will have your own natural style. Because I think the way I'm painting now is my natural way of painting. Uh, you'll have your own natural way as well. There we go. Just looking at the uh, reference as well. Yeah, I think we can work with this, can't we? <laughs> we can do this. What should we do first? So that maybe the brown, it, the brown bit in the middle. It's brown, isn't it? There's a bit of yellow in one of them. Um, yeah. So what I'm tempted to do is expand my yellow beyond the black. So therefore. Um, I just bring the black in a little bit like this with a little bit on my brush. That way. I can get a nice clean look to the petals. And it does mean I will need to put some quite thick paint on. I'm always thinking about the process of the way I do it anyway. And uh, to be honest, I think I could make a nice green with this black. So I might do that now. Get some black and yellow. Oh, look at this green. That's nice. That is nice. I've got a tiny bit of red in it as well. That's a nice colour. I'm going to go with that. A nice leaf. I want it to be a bit darker on one side. So, because we're using black, black and yellow, go a bit darker. 
and we can darken this at one side a bit. We need a little brush. wipe it. If you use an old rag for your wiping of your brushes, you use less paper, so you're helping with the environment. <laughs> so I quite like this leaf as, as it is, so I'm going to blacken up this area. one side. And some on this one as well. This leaf. Imagine the stem coming from somewhere. Bending from there maybe. Bit of black in between that. There we go. So if you use two brushes like this, you could have your dark on one, and then your your colour on the other, and then you can start playing around a bit, and you can you can develop things. You can indicate leaves under underneath. And then for the uh, specific ones that we've put in, we can uh, go a little bit lighter. See, some I like doing in one stroke like that. This one. That's just a made up one. Think about the sunflowers that you've grown and how they look. This one down here I'm going to go quite dull because I don't want another bright one. So it's almost going to vanish a bit. Maybe the one here will be like that sort of level as well. Hopefully there's one behind like there. So I'm trying to create a whole load of them. <laughs> I'm going to separate these and have one lighter that goes across there. some a little bit lighter than the others. I prefer that. Got that stalk in there as well. I tend to find the stalks have a little bit more red in them. A tiny bit of white as well. Got that stalk which is I don't think we'd see that one. 
and we can bring this leaf over. There's a bit of light on the edge. Of the leaf. Maybe not quite as big as that, a little black in there. There we go. So you can make loads of different shapes and things in amongst it. from this plant. Tempted to turn this one. <laughs> I know it's not in my picture, but I am tempted to turn it. Hmm. No, let's carry on as it is. Carry on, carry on. So now we want a brown. Then I continue with my black one, I'll just stick some brown on. A bit of burnt sienna, a bit of burnt umber, a bit of titanium white. Let's get this. It's about right. yellow in it. Might do that with that as well. Yeah. I'm going to tap this one. So I can sort of see seeds, well, the, the development of seeds anyway. I might just give it that indication by doing that. See anyway, we'll move it at that point. Just use my thumb to wipe it away. Right now, <coughs> gonna wipe this green brush. Oops. Now on my uh, I'm giving it a wipe in some yellow and then uh, wiping that away.
So a bit of crimson, a bit of yellow. We've got our nice petals. Let's get some petals going. So we want one that goes sideways, and then uh, down, round, and then to there. Something like that. I don't mind every now and then a little bit of red. <laughs> Just makes it look a bit different, then, doesn't it? Got one here, there, and that goes round. Something like that. There's one behind. Front like that. Just sort of sit back, have a look. I think I could extend them out a little bit more, really. Into about there, maybe. One here, I do really like sunflowers. The uh, sunflower paintings that I've done, I always hang them because <laughs> they're just so nice. They're always, uh, they always come out nice, and I always want to keep them. So I like growing them as well to be fair, they do make, uh, make really good additions in the garden, add a that bit of uh, brightness that the garden needs at times. So I am using quite a lot of paint, I've got to admit, I'm doing this. Keep loading your paint on. Then you can sort of sit back, have a look. Just show you what I'm doing. I might get a bit of crimson, throw it in here, give it a good mix and then just build up the paint on your brush. I mean you can see not sure if that'll uh go in <laughs> I can't get it to go in focus. What about this one? No. Well it's full. <laughs> it's full of paint. It just wants to focus on me. I want to focus it on the brush. It's absolutely full of paint. So start in the middle and then work out. Some of them, uh, like this one, should go over the top of that one. So you can do that. If you get, if you pick up some black, because it's going to happen, then uh, just reload your brush. I find just reload and then uh, game on again. Wipe your brush away from what you're doing and reload. Just 
going to sit back, have a look at that. Peachy colour, peachy colour, a bit more on the, the brush. Get some of this. Yeah. And I can see this needs to be a bit lighter in the centre, but I'm, I am liking uh, the way things are looking. I want a bit more of that black in place, and it's just to fill these areas up. Increase the colour of this. Once we've finished the other ones, I want to get the other ones done as well. Get some more of this colour and uh, this one's quite packed packed with uh, petals. That looks quite good. Get a bit more colour. That bit and that bit. So of course that needs um what am I doing now? I've got some burnt sienna. That's a bit better. Have a look at that. Yeah, it's coming on. It's coming on. Let's carry on, and then we can uh, do things at the end. Some smaller. Petals. I'll stick with that sort of size. I'm 
going to throw in some titanium white into the yellow, make a really bright colour, really bright uh, yellow. I'm going to pick out some areas that I want to brighten up a bit. So if I imagine the lights hitting some, some of these a bit more than others. Just to separate some of it. lighter Sitting back having a look. Gonna get a little bit more strength in the orange there. Still not quite the centre's got a bit of yellow on it. There we go, that's better. Might put one on that as well. And then uh, this This area can go back into the shadows. Yeah, quite liking that. Might pump a little bit more red in some of these areas as well. Yeah, so I'm just sitting back now, having a look. Getting a bit uh, more green. I think I'll... Uh, Some more brush strokes in amongst it uh, to improve the green areas. So 
so sit back. Yeah. What would I change? <laughs> you always have to think about what would you do. So if you was putting it on your wall, or if you was, what would you put in there that is not there? I do quite like it though. It's got a lot of uh, depth to it. I think a few deep lines. I think that's what it needs. <coughs> so you start looking at your painting as something separate. <laughs> something separate to other people's work, I suppose. And just have a look at what you think it could have in there. I'm making a, uh, a duller colour I can put in in some areas like this. No, I think I'm there. I think I'm there. I don't. I don't see anything that I really want to do. The only thing I could think of was to have one facing a different way, but something like it was facing. So you got three. If we was going to do four. I think it would be facing that way. Or shall I leave it as three? I feel like this could do with a Right bit there. Yeah, I think I'm there. <laughs> I could keep piddling, couldn't I? For ages. Let's be honest, you could keep going and going, but honestly. I think I quite like it. I do quite like it actually. There's some the sunflowers they pop out. I feel like the the leaves need to balance out a little bit more light maybe. Maybe that's what it's missing. Just to balance the light a bit more in comparison to uh because it's so dark behind. Just imagine that that's the stalk to that one. Because it's so dark behind, it makes these really pop out, and I do like it because of that. I'm thinking of breaking up the black.
got some blue in there. Let's just sit back and look at that now. Yeah, I prefer that. It's got a bit more to it in the background rather than just solid, solid colour. So yeah, I think I'll call this. <laughs> so uh, thanks very much for watching this episode. It's uh, something a little bit, uh, say, enjoyable. It's, it was very enjoyable to paint. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed painting your sunflowers. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>